Welcome back everyone, New Mutator here, and I'm going to be casting game 4 in the final series of the Winter Series. <laughs> Finally! <coughs> um, this is between, let's see if I can pull it up here, Donsky, who's uh, going under the handle Lil Skittles, and uh, Giant Killer General's team. Uh, now, both captains, this was a draft tournament, so both captains drafted their players in kind of a snake-style draft, and these are uh, their rosters. Um, probably there's, uh, it came to my attention that there might be like a substitute or two in this game. Like I'm thinking maybe K-Size is a substitute, but I'm, I'm not really sure because I didn't double check <laughs> at the time. But yeah, I casted the three, the first three games already, and this is going to be the fourth. Uh, Donsky's team did, uh, come away with the first game. Giant Killer General's team responded with the next two. And uh, so Donsky's team's looking to pick up a win here, possibly, and uh, if so, then they're back in the, in the match, uh, as this is the final. So let's go ahead and uh, introduce some of our players. Looks like Paris, he's the tournament organizer. He's going to be uh, watching, uh, observing um, on Giant Killer General's team, along with Eastwind, who's a, a good friend of Giant Killer General. Um, on, the, on the team itself, uh, that's going to be playing. We have Adrenaline, uh, Evil Jake, DAC or DAC or DAC Man, uh, Paladice, Mercredon, and Punk User. Uh, Punk User of the. Uh, well, I don't know if he's in Project Magma per se, but he had a hand in the 1.8 update that's uh, basically upon us. Um, and I'm actually I'm using uh, the beta of that update to cast these games um, with. Donsky, we have Kruniak, I believe that's Honky, uh, Case Size, Master Chief, we got uh, Browning, and Milkman. Let's uh, look at these trades really quick and see if we can spot any noticeable differences. We have uh, basically, it's looking like a four uh, white trade, and basically he's probably going to heal these with this journeyman and pick up the pus. So that's, yeah, uh, eight goals for that. We have maximum. Solus and it looks like uh, three, no, four warlocks and four of these mortar dwarves, and then just a handful of warriors. Looks like eight warriors on top of that. Whereas it uh, looks like Donsky going for, he's also going for eight goals, uh, four warlocks, but only two mortar dwarves, maximum Solus, and significantly more warriors. So that's going to be interesting. I'm really curious to see how this works out. Um, if the extra warriors is worth it or not. Um, this is Game on. Hills of Venice or something like that. I don't know uh, the map name. Um, I should probably look these things up ahead of time. But uh, yeah, so similar Flag similar strategies captain. here, except it looks like uh, Donsky probably going to go for maybe a little bit more highly mobile force. But the other thing to think Flag about is... Captured. There's just so many soulless and so many artillery units that it might not be Flag worth captured. having extra melee because Flag there's just captured. so many ways that they can get taken out from a distance. Um, so that's, I'm, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. Go ahead and put up the chat there. That is territory, so the team with the most flags by the end of the game wins. And, uh, yeah below this up just a little bit so we can take a look at the the unit movements it looks like here's a force here for adrenaline he's going to maybe slip into the backfield Flag of Donsky's captured. team south here and maybe uh, try to do something come at the come at from an angle maybe flank uh, looks like uh, Paladice with some solace along Flag with the uh, captured Dak uh, Mercuron with the force of his own and it looks like uh, Evil Jake um, is going to be backing up Dak here. And Paladice looks like he's going to basically head into the middle. He's going to be the first one to reach that for Giant Killer General's team. And it looks like just a lone scout here, Mercredon sending that over just to make sure that there's nothing Flag there. Flag um, Looks like in the mid, uh, Master Flag Chief is captured. going to make his way there. And uh, a couple of volleys there on Master Chief's Mortar Dwarf, but uh, no captured. blood was drawn. Uh, mm. And it looks like uh, here's some more units. Uh, K-Size is setting up along with Kruniak as Flag well as Browning. Captured. 
And it uh, doesn't look like anything's happened yet. Yep, Flag still tied at 92%. Here's a shot off. Is it gonna? Yep, it's gonna take out one of those solas Flag there. That was uh, Milkman Solus. So Milkman going to basically uh, <laughs> his Solus is gonna be the first blood on this map. Much to the chagrin of Donsky, I imagine. Uh, looks like uh, Master Chief might. Nope, he's not gonna take any more damage on that journeyman who still has a couple of heals. That could be a good shot here from Honky. Doesn't manage to take anything out, but uh, almost takes out Merc's uh, Mortar, Mortar Dwarf. And nice pus there. Donsky's gonna basically, can he do it? Yes, beautiful. Takes out in that goal, wastes its pus, trying yeah, to block that captured. shot. That was a, actually a valiant effort there, but it didn't really work out. So uh, looks like uh, the mid is going to be taken by Donsky. He's gonna have full control of it here. And we'll go ahead and zoom out just a little bit extra here. Just so we can see some other stuff happening. Now there's no giants on this map or anything else, so it's basically going to be dictated by the uh, rhythm of this artillery. Flag captured. Most uh, probably these warlocks, as uh, I think warlocks and mortar dwarves, warlocks probably win. As I think they shoot just a little bit further. They might shoot about the same, but... Mortar dwarves are just so slow. I mean, their their projectile is so slow. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe you guys know better than I do. Let's go ahead and pull up the numbers here. It looks like a three percent lead there for Donsky. Although I'm curious to to know if they lost any other units as uh, they were able to take out that. Uh, warlock and a warlock is actually significant. That's eight unit trading Flag points captured. and that puskel. And all I saw them lose was one Solus. Kind of a stalemate at this point as we have these units arrayed here for Giant Killer General's team. These units down here, kind of in the valley-ish uh, for Donsky, but uh, still above above the rest of the mesh. As we can see, there's Mercadon just uh, basically waiting there for his turn. And... Uh, we also have over here Dak. It's going to be trading. Blow oh, and he takes out that warlock. Whose was that? Flag cap. Is that Honkies? <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Uh, Dak taunting him a little bit. Honky loses that warlock. Um, that was unfortunate. I I don't know why he tried to engage the, those solace by himself. Um, basically, the best way to do that would be to surround this hill and attack it from different angles. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that if they'd be able to do that. So yeah, all of a sudden, Giant Killer General's team is sort of in the lead, two percent, two percentage points. Flag captured. K size is going to attempt to not die to adrenaline here. Adrenaline is going to try to basically move into this position. Uh, Kruniak is going to move to intercept. Adrenaline wanted to get a shot off on the Solus, and uh, if you can get a shot off, you can do a lot of damage, but the thing is that Solus are on the high ground, and they can focus you down a little bit at a time, just like they're doing now. And that Warlock is probably a gunner. That was, captured. that was a wasted puss, as it didn't connect captured. at all. Adrenaline, though, is going to retreat and back out of there. Is he going to be able to snipe it? Doesn't look like it. So Adrenaline is is going to back away from those Solus, that Solus position. Flag Probably captured. a wise thing to do. As uh, we still have kind of that stalemate, Mercadon hasn't moved in what seems like years. There's probably, he's probably uh, stuck to Flag the terrain by captured. now. It's reclaimed him. 84, 82%, so still not a whole lot Flag has happened. Captured. It's still relatively close, anyone's game. Flag. Adrenaline captured. is kind of stuck back here, as k size could snipe him with that Solus, but Flag I don't know if sending captured. one Solus is the best thing to do, as probably you would want to send at least one. Flag uh -oh. contested. Adrenaline Flag with the preemptive captured. shot doesn't manage Flag to focus contested. it down, though. This is a really tough spot Flag for Adrenaline captured. to be, as uh, k size is going to maybe contested. move in to try to take him out. 
There are some contested flags happening. Flag captured. As I guess it was this flag. Flag contested. Giant Killer flag General is going to trade shots with Kruniak. Probably a wise thing to do. Uh oh. These Solus have way overextended. That Warlock does go down, but kind of a wasted push shot there, as I, th I think preferably he would have wanted flag to take out captured. this mortar with the pus and maybe focus down that warlock with the solace so kind of a waste there uh, not a huge deal but uh, could have been handled a little bit better by K size that pus goal goes down but this one's gonna get a nice shot off and he does basically take out that pus goal as well as freeze this warlock so he is going to move in and he might be able to do some more Flag damage there, but captured. is Kruniak going to block it? No, he doesn't. This could be bad. Oh, he just loses that one. He should have continued on that Warlock. He might have been able to take it out or at least do some extra damage with that Warrior, but Kruniak was uh, basically occupied and trying Flag not to lose captured. all of his artillery. Paladice, or, yeah, Paladice with the, uh, the nice pus there and uh, Giant Killer General were able to basically run interference and keep Kruniak stuck where he was on the defense, on the defensive end. 56, 76%, Flag holy captured. cow! As all of a sudden it looks like Giant Killer General is winning this war of attrition. Mercredon still stuck in that same spot. Um, looks like Milkman has that warrior on standby just in case they get uh, maybe all flags or something like that if they want a flag. Adrenaline saying the souls are bugging him. Five minutes remaining. As where is Adrenaline anyway? Not really sure. Stuff going down here. It looks like uh, that was a nice shot on that mortar dwarf, but. Uh, Browning going to be able to dodge just a little bit. Paladice with a nice pus there on that warrior pack. And uh, following through was uh, his warlock taking them out. That goal does go down. Uh, looks like Milkman is going to move in. And it looks like Giant Killer General is going to maybe uh, try to trap this force here and take them out. Nice shot there taking out Paladice. Flag who uh, his warlock was pussed. It is 48-60%, so now the lead is down from 20 to 12%, although both those warriors get taken out. Flag. And this is not a good place for that warlock to be as he is taken out there by Punk User's, <laughs> Punk user's uh, Mortar. Kriniak saying, my fault. He, he basically did get uh, destroyed there by Giant Killer General with Flag. Paladice. Contested. As all of these solas now bearing down on the Flag remainder of captured. this force here. Not sure if Donsky's team has anything left. They're back up to a 20% spread. And oh, nice dodge there. That was a wasted pus. I don't know if he's going to be able to grab it or not. Nope, he's going to be taken out. Nope. Flag. But that, that mortar dwarf was standing on it and he loses the mortar dwarf to friendly fire from the solas. Oh man, poor punk user. That was pretty hilarious. Flag though. captured. Some stuff is happening over here. It looks like uh, that warlock giant killer general is going to take out some of these soulless that are kind of uh, basically trying to move from flag to flag. Milkman losing another one. And uh, who was that? Giant killer general is going to take some damage as uh, that goal was able to throw down a small pus, I think, and freeze it momentarily. As uh, Kruniak. And Donsky are going to try to hold onto this flag here and possibly try to push away Giant Killer General. K size is holding on to that flag, flag, but he really captured. needs to move that warrior as that warrior is going to be toast. Flag contested. Really soon, I would imagine. Nope, warrior's just sitting there. Oh, yeah, K size, sub K size, that makes sense. I don't know why that K size isn't moving with that warrior. Now he moves in. But is it going to be enough? It might be too late. There's a warrior duel here. It looks like Honky is going contested. to be able to drive Flag Adrenaline away, contested. but uh, there are some units Flag here that captured. could reinforce Adrenaline and take out Honky. Um, yeah, that Warlock Flag is still alive. Captured. 
as Kruniak is going to attempt to come down and snipe that Warlock. Is he going to be able to get it? I think he just might be able to. Although these Warriors are being pretty pesky and they are doing some free damage there to Kruniak. Kruniak running around. He is probably going to lose that there to Paladice. Uh, can these Solus do anything? I don't know. Giant Killer General up and flags double everything here. Uh, Donsky, they got 44 Flag to 22 percent. Eight flags of four. Now nine flags at three. As I think Giant Killer General might be able to take out both Flag of these Solus captured. if he dodges correctly. He is doing a pretty good jo job of dodging. Although he might end up losing that warrior, I think he is going to disengage. And Punk Flag User is contested. going to take out that pus, Flag or I'm sorry, that goal. At, at any rate, One he does have remaining. another Mortar Dwarf. Flag oh, maybe he didn't contested. lose. Oh, maybe that was Adrenaline's Mortar Dwarf <coughs> that died earlier. Punk User still has his. And I think one Mortar Dwarf against one Solus Flag uh, is going to favor the Mortar Dwarf as uh, Donsky's team just doesn't have all that much anymore. I mean, Master Chief flag has some units, captured. but I don't think flag it's going to be enough contested. to take any flags as uh, the remainder of their units remain. are just kind of holed up here. Flag Honky running contested. around, dodging. It's basically flag losing. Contested. Giant Killer General moving in with Solus of his own. Um, here's another Solus, just an errant Solus, Browning running around, but he's nowhere near any flags. Uh, nine to three flags as before and it's looking like it's a game over scenario four seconds left three two flag one captured. ten flags at two and that's Sudden gonna death. be it flag captured I mean <clears throat> once those flags are uh, taken game for good over. there we go I guess there was a, a contested flag for a minute so it didn't end immediately but uh, yeah that's gonna be it for game four uh, <clears throat> you know it was close for a while but I I wasn't really able to see exactly where all those units loss all those unit losses came from on Donsky's team. Like I saw Kruniak get uh, basically surrounded and taken out there. Um, kind of where was it? Uh, I think it was over here. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, I didn't really see like anybody make any huge mistakes. But when I checked the percentages, Donsky's team was down 20%, and that just didn't seem. Uh, I just didn't know exactly how that happened from watching what I was looking at. So <laughs> I may have missed a, a major battle. I, I, I'm not quite sure, though. Uh, let's take a look at some of these players. Uh, Giant Killer General doing really well. He got damage sem with 78. Uh, Mercredon, 60 damage. It's going to be next in line. Dak with 59. Not, not too bad. And really, everybody did pretty okay, I think, for the most part. Um, <clears throat> except for Eastwind and Paris, again, you know, really not doing their team any favors. Uh, Donsky, <laughs> Donsky's team doesn't look like anybody did all that great. I mean, Browning had the most damage with 57, but uh, nobody had all that many kills. Donsky had the most with 6, but uh, with 10 losses. And Kaysai, surprisingly enough, with 49 damage, it's probably going to be the most um, out of uh, anyone else on the team. Uh, judging from the n the numbers here, these figures. So yeah, I I'm not quite sure. I think Donsky's team just uh, ended up taking too many losses um, unanswered. Uh, they weren't really able to respond in kind, and I think that put that put them behind a lot. As we can see here, 16 kills, 41 losses for them. And in terms of damage overall. Um, it was, you know, I mean, it, I don't, it wasn't exactly a blowout. As we can see here, 37-15%, <clears throat> that's, that's not a blowout, but it's, it's also not all that close either. So, I don't know. Uh, that's another win for Giant Killer General's team. They're up three games to one, and uh, Game 5 is going to be next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry it's been a while, but hopefully I can get these, uh, get these up for you for your viewing pleasure. So join me in game number five coming up next.